Hey, you just completely cut me out. That's nice. You're good. You can scoot it over. Yeah. Hold on, why is it doing that? Because earlier it was... Hold on. What, why is it looking at me now? What? It's completely... I'm gonna have to move, I'm gonna have to physically move it. I don't know why it's doing that. Right. Can we just play the game? Yeah, we're gonna play the game. Yeah, I gotta move it this way. Good lord. It's like hello zoomed in. That's bothering the crap out of me. That works. <laughs> My who? Girlfriend. Girlfriend isn't watching. <laughs> hey. Yeah, oh. yeah, you're the one controlling the game. I'm not. I can't press X. I'm not the one playing the game. I think I want to get a PS4. Wow. You don't yeah. even play games and you want a PS4? Yeah, but I want Final Fantasy to see me. Oh, well, good luck with that. Why do you say that? It's expensive. have like the theme song. It doesn't even look like a piano. Mm. Reckon you didn't do it then. What do? You, why do you say that? Your timer's running out. You gotta pick a choice. What? What does it mean? You pick what you want. You know stay. what they say about reckoning. No, I don't. But I reckon it's a lot like assuming. Yeah, something like that. You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. And what do you say? Not for me. Cause guys in your position already said it enough.
I followed your case a little bit, you being a making boy and all. You've got an opinion then? Wouldn't say that. I go in for that innocent till proven guilty thing. Even considering who they say you kill. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on my sixth year. You meet your wife in Athens? You want to know how I see it? Not really. Well, too bad. My car. You might have the right to remain silent, but it don't mean I gotta be. Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. He kills wife? driving this man once. He, he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella. Big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you're all sitting. Officers are available for incoming to one. Then before long he starts kicking the back of the seat like, like a fussy baby on an airplane. Not tell him he's got to stop. But that's government property. And I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. So did he do it? They caught the fucker red-handed, stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed in himself. It goes to show, people will up and go mad when they believe their life is over. Oh, I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit less depressing and a bit more hilarious if I do say so. This other time... <laughs> Officer, are you all right? I'm still cuffed back here. Did you? Yeah. Officer? Oh, that doesn't look good. He wasn't ejected from the car. He's not moving. He must have the handcuff keys on him. He must have the handcuff <laughs> keys on else. him. Mm. It's ineffective. You gotta figure out. Why the hell did he have his gun out? Maybe it was tossed from the car during the wreck.
Is he not picking the guy? Maybe you picked the guy. Uh, oh, okay. I'll pick up the guy. Looks empty. It'll be easier to carry with these cuffs off. Officer? You control him. Well, you have the UI helping you. There's always a circle on the screen where you need to click. Hmm? There's always a circle on the screen where you need to click. Shit! What? That's why his face. <laughs> I am looking to the right. Hello? Anybody?
Anybody up there? Entertaining. No ladder. I'm not getting up there anyway. This leg the way it is. Help! I'd fill one of those teacups with some bourbon if I could. Hello? Anybody in there? Somebody! Yell if you can hear me! He doesn't have a phone in the accent, though. Hey, dude. Fill one of those teacups with some bourbon yeah, if yeah, I yeah. could. That. No ladder. <laughs> I'm not Look getting up. up there anyway. This Look leg the way it is. Look at around. Go around and move to the front of the house or something. Is there anybody here? Strange man here, bleeding in your backyard. Black man in your backyard. Anything uh -uh. It's not letting me move anywhere. Go look at it. Moving and looking is different. Pick the wagon. that. This would normally get a man before. arrested. Are you up Again. there? I'm not one of those things. I guess it's empty. Anybody's home. I wonder if anybody's home. Can't walk up to it. Hello. Anybody home? Good way Need to get a little shot. help. Coming in. Don't shoot, okay? Ah! Hello? I'm not an intruder. Or one of them. These people might need more help than I do. We gotta check like the farm. Oh, there's probably food in here. 
Yeah, I do. Walkie talkie to nothing. This place has been ransacked. Just about anything worthwhile is gone. That was quick. There are three new messages. That's a Savannah area code, but that's the type of note you'd leave a babysitter. What did it say? The, the, the phone number on there is... Uh. Hmm. The Marsh House. That's a Savannah area code, but that's the type of note you'd leave a babysitter. Okay. Can you pick the cabinet? Or... What's that beeping? What's the beeping? Oh. Yeah, no, how do I get to it? Gotta walk around the house and nothing okay. is going to be There are three new messages. I have to walk till they get. Maybe there's something on there. Three new messages. Message one, left at 5.43 p.m. Hey, Sandra, this is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before your spring break. Message 2, left at 11.19 p.m. Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Message 3, left at 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby, if you can hear this, call the police. this? I'm Clementine. This is my house. Hi, Clementine. I'm Lee. You're not my daddy. No, I'm not. Where are your parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Are you safe? I'm outside in my treehouse. They can't get in. That's smart. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the window. Ah! <laughs> 
Did you kill it? I don't know. I think so. Sometimes they come back. Have you killed one? No, but they get shot a lot. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. I think that might be a little while, you know? Oh. Look. I don't know what happened, but I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? We need to find help before it gets dark. Yeah, it's not safe at night. Let's go. What Stay close after? to me. She killed the zombie? Your game is in there, don't watch it. I can see you in the camera watching. Do they need to get supplies or something? Oh man! I ain't never getting home to mom at this rate. This sucks. Oh, it's hot dish night. Can I help them? Can I help them? What's the matter? Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? I won't leave you alone. Well, let's go somewhere safe that's close, okay? That's a good idea. We're back in the treehouse. Yeah. Hey, man! Holy shit! Don't eat us! 
We're not gonna hurt you. Yeah. Thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. Do you know what the hell this is? No idea. So you've seen them then. You could say that. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Lee, this is Clementine. I'm Chet. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. I'm not a dad. I'm... A neighbor. Her parents are out of town. Let's get going. Staying put for too long is a mistake. What do you want to do? I... The monster's come out. We gotta go. Leave quick. Let's go. Any of those guys neighbors too? Damn. Sean, I'm gonna run on home. My mama's gonna be in a snit. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you then. You've brought a couple guests. Your boy's a lifesaver. Glad he could be a help to somebody. So it's just you and your daughter then? Oh, not his daughter. He was her neighbor. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Okay then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Is that uh, yeah, that it's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. Could be worse. That's what it sounds like. Seems like things got awful bad in the cities. What did you say your name was? Doesn't matter, right? Ha. Huh. Well, if you're gonna be here overnight, I'm gonna need it. Unless you'd rather hit the road. It's Lee. Well, Lee. Just Lee, I take it. I'm Herschel Green. How'd this happen? <clears throat> car accident. That so? Where are you headed before the car accident? Nowhere. We hit a guy. Why? Those things you've been hearing about. <laughs> on the road. Like Who are you with? The girl? Nobody. Is that I'm gonna tell him so? with a police officer. Yeah, it is. 
You said we. That's all. Oh. House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. <laughs> you and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad, so I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. Your son's right. You're gonna want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. I got chased by a couple of dead people. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it. Really. I already said okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. If your leg gets yeah. hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? We'll probably just have to shoot you. <laughs> we'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. Okay, that'd be preferable. There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards making, I suppose. Making a pretty good bit of everything. All yeah. right, then. Hour and a half. It smells like... I know what it smells like. Duty. I missed my mom and dad. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay. Savannah's on the coast. Hey, get up. Oh, I'm itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. But I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm, uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of fence. There's a tractor and everything. We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Duck? Yeah, nothing bothers him. Like water off a duck's back, you know? That's a valuable treat lately. No kidding. But frankly, I think it's because he's dumb as a bag of hammers. Dad! But he makes up for it with enthusiasm. The word is you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. I'll see what the girl would like. Ah, gotta consult the missus. I understand. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. Like We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the mm. faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. Kid looks you can retarded. sit on a tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On a tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. Mom I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. It's not the most reliable pickup in the world, but it gets the job done. 
Hey there, uh, Kenny. So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? What do you mean? I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? I think I've got it handled okay. As long as I keep her safe, I think I'm doing all right. With those things out there, maybe. Sure, that's enough. But you gotta ask yourself if you're the type of guy who can do better than that if her parents don't show up. I'll keep that in mind. How's your son doing? Good, I think. kachi has got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. See you. It's actually a piece of shit, but Hall's all right. <laughs> gotta check in with everyone. So you might want to talk to the lady at the point. Hey there, girls. So, uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale. Like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. Uh, yeah, my mistake. We'll all be home soon. How did you handle getting through this city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people over some. Just, just... Uh, it's okay. It's fine. You don't have to say anymore. I want to go home tomorrow, but even then I can't take away the things we... the things Doc went through. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? This could all be providence, you know? Not what we saw. You just never realize when something is happening to you, what you're being given. Maybe this will all work out. Your optimism is refreshing. New. These past couple days, at least. You two actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, uh... How's that? It's easy. Well, yeah. So, you're good? Anyway, it's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, no? Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. Mm -hmm. You having a nice time with Katya Clementine? Yeah. Hey, back in a bit. Okay, Lee. Um, do you have to go to the bathroom or anything like that? Lee, the young woman can take care of herself. Yeah, okay. Can't go any further. Sean's still working on that fence. Sean's still working on that fence. Looks like a pretty shitty Hey, Lee. Fence. Need a hand? 
That'd be great. If you could cut those two bytes to length, that sure speed things up. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Was the boy one of the walkers? I don't even know. He was either attacking the guy or asking for help. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh, uh... I had to shoot one. I could shoot one, maybe, if it were far away. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? My brother and parents are in Macon, I hope. Oh man, I hope so too. Maybe it's not too bad there. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. And Sean, thanks again for the ride. No problem, Lee. Couldn't leave you behind. Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. You know how to drive it? Sure don't. I can give you a hell of a critique of the U.S. Farm Bill, though. I'm good. He's got a deaf... Looks like he's got hearing aids in. For sure. I don't know, maybe it's just a delay of ears. How you doing, Duck? Good! I'm gonna drive the tractor! I'm the foreman! Lift with your back, Sean! How you doing, Duck? Good! I'm gonna drive the tractor! I'm the foreman! Lift with your back, Sean! You should know that if you weren't leaving with Kenny today, I wouldn't stand for your lack of honesty last night. I'm not sure I follow. A man asks you your name, you give it, unless that name is no good. How'd you get out of Atlanta? I got a ride and then I was in a wreck. I walked until your boy found me. Hmm, well. You're no worse for wear. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. Huh. Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? My parents are in Macon, with my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? I was being attacked and she came to my rescue. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? What is it? I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're going to have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're going to make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're going to be in trouble. Oh, and I'd start checking the attitude, friend. Go! I'll get my gun! Oh, my God. 
Stitch you up. It almost, it almost got me, man. It, you go back. Lee tried to save me. Good kid. I know, son. I. to help him, but this piece of shit let him die. You can't blame Kenny. The hell I can't. You watch your back. We can tell it's your daughter and you need his help. Please, just go. Get out and never come back. Got that ride to make it if you want it. This is as far as we're going. Then it's far enough. Look! Hey there. You friendly? Trucks run out of gas. No. Fuck! Either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are. They could be dangerous. Worse, they could have let them right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? They would have died out there. We have kids with us. I see one little girl. What is it? I... I have to pee. I'd go out there again in a second. I bet you would. They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. 
You have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. I don't give a flying fuck. We're in a war zone. She's an asshole, that's for sure. That's what it takes. Well, you don't have to be a bitch about it. Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. Is he bitten? Mm -hmm. Shit. We let one in, you stupid shits. We have to end this. Over my dead body, we'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! Hey, what do we do about this guy? Dad, it's just a boy. It's... Lily, I'll handle it. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. Everyone, chill the fuck out! Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten! That's how you turn! He's not bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. Dad, get it. It's a big deal. Sit down. That's it. You're gonna whoop me? <laughs> you and what homo parade? This one. <laughs> That's good. Little boy, before you eat your mommy, you can watch your dad get his nose broken. I'm gonna kill him, cat. Just worry about Duck. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Keys behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch. She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, once she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. It's a little boy. I think we can handle it. A little boy? He'll be an uncontrollable man-eater. It's not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now! No! You don't touch that boy! You don't touch anybody! I've got a little girl I'm trying to protect in here, too. You wanna get violent, you old fuck? Well, come on! You better have a plan to kill me, though, because it's me before anyone else in here! <coughs> You okay? Just great, thanks. Uh, guys? Everybody down! Stay quiet! They're gonna get in! Shut up! Is that the military? I don't know. Thank God for whatever it is. We almost died because of this bitch and a Richie trigger finger. That was stupid. That was. Uh, uh, Dad! Ah! Uh, 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 yo, fuck. I did try to get him to calm down. Can it, asshole? It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there, behind the counter where the pills are. We'll get in there somehow. Thank you so much. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? 
We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. And I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. You know your way around? Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you? You keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work, though. Here, let me have a look. batteries in this thing. What now? You, you didn't know that there are no batteries in that thing? Yeah, of course. I mean, yeah. No. I can try to find some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. Yeah. Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, huh. Uh, not right now. All right, let me know if you want to. Hey, Carly. I'm still looking for batteries for that thing. Thanks. I appreciate it. You seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me, and I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but, you know. Yeah. That guy saved you? Yeah. Can you believe it? Those creeps, or, or ghouls, or whatever the hell they are. They were pulling our van apart, and that guy, Doug, just came to the rescue. You can never tell who the heroic ones are gonna be, I suppose. He's kinda cute. In that parent's basement sort of way. Huh? Huh? Oh, nothing. How'd you end up here? We drove up to cover the Cherry Blossom Festival. Real hard-hitting stuff. Sounds worth it. I better get back to it. Yep. Hey there. Hi. Can I, uh, get you anything? I'm okay. Maybe I'm a little hungry. I'll see about that. Any word from Glenn? Nothing. Is he okay? Yeah, I think so. You're doing a good job. So, um... Are you okay? What? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I just, uh... I'm good. That's good. Yeah, I, I think so. Uh, being good is good. Despite the circumstances. Yep. We'll sit tight. Okay. 
guess he doesn't have any kids of his own. It's not damaged. Glad this place didn't get looted. It's not damaged. Okay. Glad this place didn't get looted. Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. Central High Tech State. Papers a week old. Feels like years. I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone yeah. was. You didn't have to call me a bitch in front of my people. I don't need that shit, alright? It's hard enough to be in charge of people's lives without some dick cutting you down. And that violence before with my dad? That didn't help. You're from here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force base. Yeah, I know it. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. You? I work up at UGA. Was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Did you know anybody here? Yeah, the owners, they were, uh, we were close. I'm sorry. We found an older couple in the office. Dad hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. What do you think about all this? What is there to think? The dead are up walking around, eating people and turning them into more more of them I mean Jesus we need to stick together and get through this what's wrong with him he's got a heart condition he takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly I've seen a few <coughs> bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital yeah that's uh, not really an option right now I'm just trying to keep him relaxed he's got a temper Ah, oh, fuck you. Oh my yeah, god. I he doesn't kidding. mean it. Yeah. It's just that... Yeah? Punch him in the chest. We've got kids here. Families. He and I are a family. I'm just saying some people can't handle a temper like that. Hell, barely seems like you can. It's just his way. Don't make him the reason everything's screwed. I feel like I'm about to help you. Where's her yeah. mom? I wouldn't help him. Savannah, I think. Oh, you guys aren't together. Oh, uh, no, I'm not her dad. I found her in a house when getting out of Atlanta. She'd been surviving by herself. I think the girl's parents didn't make it. Oh. I heard an answering message. They were in Savannah. She was home with a sitter. It wasn't good. Well, she's lucky to have you. I'm gonna get back to him now. Another battery. What is that? I don't know. Some remote or something. I don't know. Harmonica? Mm, maybe. Maybe 
speak to that one battery. Give that one battery to that shit. Maybe it'll be enough. Oh, yeah. This battery should fit the radio. Great, thanks. I'm still looking for batteries for that day. Oh, I guess I need thanks, I appreciate it. Can you go to this way? This way? Something there. We can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know, hon. No, I'm sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead guards. <laughs> we just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. We'll do our damnedest. Maybe they need something. We'll talk to them first. It's not much, but here, for the boy. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. Is That's sweet, Lee. Oh. oh, wait. Did you give the kid Clementine was hungry? Hey, Lee. How really you? gave that old man hell. Yeah. Like to to him. We got pushed, you know? <laughs> you don't have to tell me. I was ready to tear the man's head off. Anyway, we, Kat and I, appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. <laughs> How's Duck doing? He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No kid. How is she doing? She's good, I think. She's a tough one right there. She's just a little girl, Ken. What were you saying, Lee? She spent days surviving on her own? That's right. Not just any little girl can do that. Are you guys all right? Oh, we're just fine, considering. How about you, Duck? We've all been through a lot. Lee, you got a second? Sure. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. I panicked, you know. I'm not proud of it. It happens. I guess. But I can't stop seeing him in my head. Yeah, that's rough. I killed that boy. We could have saved him together. You didn't have a choice. You think you do when you look back on it. But in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. I guess. Try to let it go. Stayed, kid. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. A 
parents came in here hoping to survive. But it looks like one of them was hurt. I wonder if it was my dad. <laughs> Trying to be a hero, maybe. Or a protector, at least. There's a photo over there. Brother was probably a doctor or something. Find anything? He's probably just a bum. No, nothing. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? No. I've been sticking to first names for a reason. Well, good. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and... Look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good. Because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. Thanks. Don't worry about it. Sick guy. Yeah, we'll keep an eye on him. Yeah, there was that thing in the bathroom. It tried to get me. I know. But you stopped it. Yeah, I did. Can you do that more? Well, I'm not gonna go looking for him. I mean, get the dangerous ones. I'm gonna try. Good. Have you heard from Glenn? Not in a little while. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. Wait. Okay. I'll just stand in there again. Dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you with your hat. My dad gave it to me. See, Dad's just smart like that. I ought to clear a path to opening that door. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. <clears throat> you don't need anything, right? No. I get hungry a lot. Okay, good to know. And you don't have any allergies or anything I should know about, right? No kids have allergies or asthma or just general maladies. My friend Alfred has peanut allergy. But you cool? I think so. Okay, here we go. have kids? No. You don't have a family? Let's not talk about that. Do you play sports? I play soccer, but I don't really like it. 
I'm not crazy about it either. All right, a little further. Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? I hope not. It's just complicated, that's all. Why? It just is. But you love them, right? Yeah, of course. Look, my family's gone and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I'm not a bad guy, okay? Things happen and we didn't talk much after that. My parents don't talk to me when I get in trouble. I can relate. Find your bandage. Oh, he has to get the first aid kit. Need a tennis shot. Let's have a look at that finger. Now. It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. Lee? Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? They'll, uh, track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. We should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? It's light. We need to track down the keys if we're gonna help Larry. It's the remote to my dad's TV. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. Dad told me he bought that TV to watch baseball in here, but I caught him watching his stories more than a few times. Stories? No idea. That's what I figured. That's the door to the pharmacy. We should be able to find pills for Larry in there. TV. 
That's what I figured. Didn't work. Talking to her. How's your finger? It's okay. Thanks for fixing it. Have you heard from Glenn? Not in a little while. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. This the one? Head back into the drugstore with me. Okay. Lee? Yeah? You're not bad, right? I, uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? Yeah, he was. And you had to protect yourself. That's right. Oh, okay. James Jamming? Talk to them because they moved the body right about here. Maybe they grabbed the key. Hey. I'm gonna get back to him now. <laughs> Grab his chest again. <laughs> Try to get some rest, hon. Oh, lady. How can I with those? Things out there. What the cash register? Hey there. Uh, this is Glenn, and uh, I'm kind of in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone or on the talkie or whatever? This is Lee. What's up? So I'm down at that motor inn, and well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group, and a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn. We're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, alright? <sighs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. And you got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do... Somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. Where are the battery things? Where's she at? Oh! Oh, the cannon's on the Not much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. The pills are in there. There's no getting in there from out here. That great does its job. Where's she at? And here's another one. Should be able to get it to work now. It's still not working? Yeah, I can't figure it out. Let me have a look at that thing. <laughs> Go ahead. Where 
and backward. Come on, idiot. Close it. Yeah, I know. I don't want to ask any patients. Well, mm -mm. You fixed it. Continues to spread unchecked. The estimated death toll continues to skyrocket. WABE urges you to stay indoors and avoid any contact with individuals you suspect may have been exposed. The station is okay. In the event of a full, uh, my my producer's telling me we have to get off the air. Steve. Uh, WABE wishes you and your loved ones. God bless you all. Hey there. That radio sign off didn't sound too good. Are you okay? I'm fine. You don't have to be. It's traumatic. I'm sure some people got out. Maybe they're all being rescued. Then again, maybe not. How we doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? Oh. Yeah, look around first. We're about to go out there. Anyway. Let's have a look around. Okay. back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. Man, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. is full of TVs and electronics. <laughs> Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? It's universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. I just hope the power's still on. Not that you far away. You can just do that? I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try. What a nerd. Well fucking done, Doug. All that dork nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? That got a few of them to take notice. But not enough. Those TVs are on, and I'm sure they're making a lot of noise behind that glass. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? 
I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. Is it open it? Yeah. I can't reach that brick. 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 Any idea where the pharmacy keys might be? We searched high and low inside before you guys got here. They weren't on the old couple we took out of the office. Are you okay? I'm fine. If the keys aren't in the drugstore, think they could be out of here? Now live in a world where getting up and walking away is an actual possibility. So. Right. Can I look at that? Yeah, that's okay. Let's head back, back, back inside. Okay. You ready to head out? You got it. You? Yeah. Let's go. before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way. We gotta go. Now. Listen, I was out here looking for gas. And then, up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A, a couple almost got me. And I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her with or without you. Think about if it was you. <laughs> Fine. Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. There's a pillow over there. That's about as far as I got when it came to supply gathering. I might have an idea for it. I have no idea. Good luck smothering them to death. <laughs> That's not really what I have in mind. Do 
I need to do. Okay. I think I found a pretty damn good way to stop these guys quietly. Now we just have to get it quietly. What are you gonna do with that? I don't really know. Do you have any tricks for getting into cars? Not without tools, or making a bunch of noise, and none with pillows. <laughs> do it yet? We can do something with that car, I bet. If it weren't for that fellow lurking near the front. No, he's alive. Is that a pillow? Get out your gun. But the noise. Just follow my lead. Stay right behind me. That was sick. Let me see the spark plug. The porcelain inside these things turns car windows to tissue paper. That could scramble a brain pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking. Alright, so let's... As big as the Prime Walker Killer. I should be able to take those guys out when they come around the corner of the RV. I need to kill him first. Oh, 
too exclusive. God damn them. God, do you have to do that all over again? I hope not. Do it again, but actually kill him this time. I don't know. You have, you have to select it. Because he doesn't kill him. Oh, where's the thing at? First one. Yeah, this is just episode one of the first season. Are you sure you just didn't pick the wrong place to stab him? Maybe. Dude, where'd your weapon go? Into that ice big sized hole. <laughs> Holy shit. It's cool. Now we've got this. Are you two done? behind you. Hello in there. We're here to help. Please just go away. Let's go, guys. In a minute. Yeah. If you open up, we can take you somewhere safer. We've got a group in town. No, no, no. Please. She's in trouble. No. Miss, we're coming in. Yeah. How did how did that board get on in it anyway? Mm. Locked. Stop! Just stop! I'm coming out. How'd that board get on there? You're hurt. Oh, God. I, I said yeah. stay away. We need to get you help. It's too late for that. Guys, she's been bitten. What? I told you, I said go away. I'm bit. But you wouldn't just leave. Let's calm down. 
could be fine. I won't be fine. My boyfriend was bitten. You get sick and you die and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find. She looks like a zombie now. You have a boyfriend? Glenn. I don't want that. It's not Dude. Christian. Please. Just leave me. Please go. Okay. We'll leave. Just... Try to take care of yourself for whatever time you have left. You have a gun. So? Can I borrow it? What do you mean, borrow? Give it to me. I can just, you know, end this, and then, then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please. I don't want to be one of them. They're, they're satanic. Give it to her. What? You can't be serious. Do it. No! Then shoot her. Huh? I've seen what hell is like and it's coming back as one of those things! Shoot her! Help her out here. You're insane! Just take this thing! <laughs> Thank you so much. I know how terrible this must be. We can't watch this. Let's go. We can't go yet. What? Why not? Because somebody needs to pick up the gun. Can't leave it. You two go on. Okay. Yeah. God bless you, all right? God bless you too. Everyone all right? Yeah, no, we had some close calls, but Glenn is fine and... Well, yeah. We're okay. I've got a few cans of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. Mm. Good to hear it. And things back here? Quiet. Our friend is still in and out over there. He won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. Maybe they can use the axe. Hey, yeah. Go to the office. Oh wait, there's another candy bar. Do you not see the circle thing? Yeah, I do. I they just blend in. I feel like it's easier if you would be here. Because it tint everything's tinted. Is that it's that? better. We gotta go in through there, don't I? Mm -hmm. The guy's still grabbing his chest. It is, I guess. It's life. We need to track down the keys if we're going to help Larry. for being an asshole.
taken. What are you looking oh, for? Oh, wait, talk to the new guy. Him? Mm -hmm. Talk to him before you give him food. Can I give him food? How are you doing, Gwen? You know. What's your story, Glenn? I deliver pizzas around here. I brought a couple to the Everts a few times. Sorry. I mean, the folks that own this place. Just really good people. It sucks seeing this place like this. Isn't that the truth? Back to the motor in. How can it be that bad so fast? You know, when things are taken away, people do crazy shit. I guess. But that's not me. I'm not giving up. Not for anything. Good, man. Good. You let her do it, you know. You said give her the gun. I know I did. Why the hell would you do that? Mercy, man. I couldn't let her go on like that. We couldn't. You never know. You can't give up hope. I think it was over for her, Glenn. You... Try to get some rest. Huh. <laughs> yeah, right. No, oh, why? What's your next move? I don't know. I mean, you guys seem okay. What about your family? Yeah, I... I... Forget it, man. That's your business. I hate feeling like I can't do anything. I know the feeling, man. Try to get some rest. Huh. <laughs> yeah, right. I know, I'm just looking. Great. Great. To the pharmacy. Mm. You would just tell you that you can't get in. Mm. That's the door. Just... Wait. What's that? It's all melted now. I don't care about them. What's this? Can I look at that? I look at the picture for 